What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Hope you guys are having a wonderful day today. We are back bringing you guys some more competitive VGC double battles for Pokemon Brilliant Diamond and Pokemon Shine and Pearl. In today's video, we're going to be rocking out with a Life Orb Infernate team that also features Porygon Z, not just any Porygon Z, Choice Spec Porygon Z, and Rotom Wash. You guys already know the deal. If you do enjoy the content anytime, make sure you support me as a content creator by leaving a like on today's video. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, get on top of that. Over 60% of my viewers, you heard that right, 60% of my viewers are not subscribed to the channel. So if that's one of you, don't make me yell at you. Just scroll down a little bit and click that big red subscribe button and join the community. But like I said, today we are rocking out with Infernape. And Infernape and Porygon Z are going to be like the heart and soul of the team. And I feel I felt like picking this team because A, Porygon Z is an absolute, an absolute bleh, menace in this format and infernape is a fan favorite with the stars i feel like fan infernape is definitely like the favorite out of the three even though all three are absolute bangers i just feel like everybody loves infernape plus he's probably one of the better ones in the vgc uh so cannot wait to use him cannot wait to rock out with him let's go over to team preview start off with the one and only infernape in the top spot we got the life orb on him and he's really good at controlling the battle and doing big damage he has fake off flinches and then he has huge stab moves such as flare blitz and close combat and then he's also rocking u-turn just to pivot out and kind of go from there Next Pokemon is going to be our Porygon Z. And Porygon Z with the choice specs is ridiculously strong. It has the adaptability as its ability to actually make his stab moves, well, any normal moves, do double damage. And then add the choice spec damage on top of that, it's pretty much GG's. He can one tap pretty much everything. Cannot wait to showcase him and just use the power of him in this battles. Third Pokemon is going to be Crobat. Crobat is so good for speed control. It is really, really fast. One of the only Pokemon that really learns Tailwind in this format. It also has Inner Focus, so it can't be flinched. So Tailwind with Inner Focus, gotta love it. Cannot flinch your Tailwind user, and chances are we're gonna be able to get speed control with this Pokemon out on the field. Fourth Pokemon is going to be a great physical attacker with Garchomp. He's right here. Everybody knows the power of this Pokemon. Has that EQ, has that Dragon Call, and can set up with Sword Dance with its last move of Protect. Fifth Pokemon is a great special attacker that we definitely need for the team, and that is going to be this Rotom Wash. Its EVs are special attack and HP, so he's pretty much here just to do some big damage. It has Nasty Spot to set up, Hydra Pump, and Thunderbolt for our stab moves. And last but not least, we're rocking Protect just so we can uh, make some cool moves on our opponent. Final Pokemon is going to be our support slash hard hitting Togekiss. It's got super luck with the scope buttons, so you guys know it can do some big crit damage with Dazzle Gleam or Air Slash. It's also going to rock and follow me and then protect for its last move so we can support and control the battle with this Pokemon. Guys, you want to check out this team? We're going to have that Poke Pace down in the description below. But let's get to the Coliseum. I've been loving the Coliseum, making life a lot easier for me to actually get some battles. But let's hop in there and find our first battle for today's video. Hopping into our first battle for today's video. And we got on the red side, which means we cannot pick rules. But luckily, our person on the blue side picked four Pokemon per battle, which is just beautiful. Let's lock in our lovely Inferno team. And try to get rocking out here in battle number one and grab ourselves a victory. But let's see who we're going up against. We're going, ooh, ooh. Okay, pretty cool team. He's got the, the Trick Room team with the Dust Noir, Ursa Ring, and then he has Scizor, Malwak, Machamp, and Garchomp. So I got to lead Crobat. Crobat does have Taunt on it, so we can actually prevent Trick Room. So I do really, really like it. So we're going to go Crobat. I think next Pokemon we could lead could be Infernape for a Fake Out chance. But I feel like maybe we should bring him in the back end and maybe just roll out with Porygon Z. I'm kind of digging that. Who do we think he's going to lead? I do like Porygon Z, but the problem here is if he goes into Dust Noir, our normal moves cannot hit him. That, so that could definitely be a problem for us. Maybe we should just go into like, maybe like someone like Tokus. Tokus does do work. It is super effective up against a lot. I definitely want to bring Infernape, but I don't know where I should bring it. Hmm. Definitely want Crobat. Definitely want Tokus, but I don't think I want to lead Tokus. I don't want to lead Garchomp here, right? Garchomp could be solid. Let's go Garchomp. Let's go Togekiss. Let's go Infernape and lock it in. Right? Sounds pretty good, right? Sounds really good in my eyes. Looking really good. Let's rock out here in battle number one and look to grab ourselves a victory here. Let's see if he's going to lead. Is he going to lead the Dust Noir for a Trick Room? Because we just got to be hoping it's not Metal, which has a high chance of being Metal. That could be a problem. So he's going to go Earth Ring alongside with Dust Noir. And I feel like just taunting this thing and then going into like a uh, a Swords Dance would really be our play, right? I'm kind of thinking that. Let's do that. Let's try to set up here. Let's see what he's going to do. Let's see what this dude's going to do. He's just going to protect his Earth Ring. That's totally fine. So I think he's going to try to pop Trick Room. Hopefully he's not Metal over here. This could be really good if it's not Mental Hood. So we're going to Swords Dance here. We're going to try to go up plus two. And come on, please no Mental Hood. We do not want the Mental Hood. Mental Hood will do us dirty. Taunt's going to come out here. No Mental Hood allowed. No Mental Hood allowed. No Mental Hood allowed. Son of a biscuit. It is Mental Hood. Shook off the Taunt, and it's going to go for a straight trip. So this thing has Trick Room set up. Um, what should we go into from here? How should we play this one? I could protect my Chomp and kind of just uh, try to get in Toad Kiss. Could definitely be a play. Because if, if I had to guess... I had to guess. 
Ooh, do we go for the crit here? The crit could be good, or we could just go straight for Brain. I'm kind of liking If I had to guess, he's probably going to come into my guard jump with the Earth Ring, so I'm just going to protect it and try to go from here. The Shrikram's really, really tough to play up against, so we'll protect the, our big old plus two dragon here. Land Shark, whatever you want to call it. And he's going to go straight for one of those. God dang it. What a play by him. He's just going to run me here with these physical attackers. I should try to taunt it again. I should definitely try to taunt it again if he's just going to do that stuff. Besides, can come in here. It's going to get blocked. We should have went for the cross poison trying to land crits now that we're burned, but it'd be like that. Maybe we'll get a crit and we'll get luckier. Let's see. We're going here. We'll deal with some decent damage. Some decent damage. Not bad. And we'll roll off from here. So I could try to go for another protect. I could hard swap. You know he's going to go for a one of those, which really could do me dirty. But Facade can just... Mm, Facade could really do me dirty. I'm going to go into a cross poison here. Try to land a crit. And could I swap? I could swap in front of Dude, the Facade would just do me dirty. Facade is going to do too much damage. I have to try to protect the enemy. If not, we're dead. And we're getting burned off. So I'm going to go for double protect here. See if we can land it. Our time goes protect and we fail it. God dang it, man. Fire Punch going to fly through here. And he's going to go in here. Okay, that's fine. So he's going to go for a will of us. There's the facade. He's going to bounce over to my guard chomp. And we dead. See, yeah, I knew we were dead anyway. So we drop out there. I have to bring out Tokus and save my Infernape for the back. Or I could come in here for a fake out. Hmm. Let's just see how much damage this cross does. Can we get a crit now? We do not. We do not get a crit, which is a little rough. Oh, what's a crit? Okay, so decent damage there. Lovely. I just thought a crit would do more damage. Okay, so we're sitting here. Uh, burn damage could chip away with the fake out. So I could come in here with fake out. Or I could pose the fake out threat. We could go into Tokus, though. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. What is my play here? What is my play here? Bring out Togekiss? I'd say bring out Infernape. I say you bring out Infernape, and the sheer fact of bringing out Infernape is going to be to pose that fake out threat and force that Earth Ring to protect. So we're going to bring out Infernape here, and I'm going to go straight into a, uh, a taunt, but I just feel like Cross Poison is going to be a play or Brave Burn. Just something to double down into this Dust Noir because we are making the weed that, uh, that what's called is protecting. That Earth Ring is going to protect this fake out. Oh, he's just going to hard swap. Oh, he's going to hard swap Dust Noir. Who are you going to go into? What are you going into here? Because we're Brave Bird and we're you turning into the same. Wow, whack. Okay, so nice little play by him, man. There's the Protect. So we made the hard read on the Protect, which is good. Now we'll get off some damage off the Malwack. We'll kind of just go from here. See how this one plays out. So Brave Bird's going to fly. And how many turns left to trick him? I wish I could I wish I could tell. I wish I could tell. Man, dude, imagine we would have, like, read that, went to, like, close combat or something. We could do some big old damage on it. Big old damage, but... Life Orb Damage is going to chip up here. Uh, What is our play? What is our play? I protect tokens. We're gonna have to clutch up with our Infernape and tokens. I feel like that's our only way out here, right? That's like our only way out. Because how many turns is left in Trick Room? There's gotta be like one, right? There's gotta be like one. There has got to be like one. One or two. One or two for sure. So from here, I'm just gonna go. I feel like Malwife poses a bigger threat than the Earth Ring. So we can just protect or fake it out and just have the Burn kind of take it out. You know what? I could go for that, uh, false poison again. But I'm just gonna go for a Brave Bird in this slot. And I'm just gonna protect this, uh, protect this Togekiss. Like I said, we just need to waste out Trick and Turns. This is a really good battle. This is a really good battle. Especially if we can waste out Trick and Turns and win this one. Backside's right gonna come in here. That's gonna drop my, uh, Crobat. We gotta hope Trick Room's gone. That's the only thing that stinks is, like, you cannot keep a count. You cannot keep a count. I'm trying to think. He went for a Fire Punch. He went for a Will O' Wisp. Uh, did he go for another move? He might have one more. He might have one more turn in him. Where's Trick Room gone? Please tell me Trick Room's gone. Please tell me Trick Room's gone. It is. Beautiful. We'd love to see that. We'd love to see that. So we wasted out the Trick Room turns. And from here... What do we do from here? Fake out the Malwack, go into a Gleam? Yeah. Gotta fake out the Malwack. And just drop a nice, lovely, dazzling Gleam. I'm liking this. I'm liking this a lot. So we go into this. Um, hmm. Trying to think who's back in Pokemon. Gonna protect Malwak, that's totally fine. We'll still take out Earth Ring. That's a little bit better for us. That's a little bit better for us. Our gonna use Fake Out, it's gonna get blocked. More importantly, Dazzle Leaf's gonna fly through here and take out Earth Ring, no problem. No problem. No problem whatsoever. Get it. Get it. Dude, what a good battle. What a good first battle. If we lose this one, this will be my first loss of BDSP in a while. We're, we're looking to come back here. We're looking to come back here, people. You gonna throw out Dustin War here? Definitely an option. Definitely an option. We're gonna go back into it. He is. He's gonna try to pop a trick room. Uh, hmm, this is tough. Real tough news for us. Okay, he reveals our scope lens. From here, I could go into. 
Layer Blitz. I think Gleam should be able to take out that Malwax, so I'm just gonna go into that. I'm gonna try to protect again, that's totally fine. So good thing we actually went into the, the, these, uh, this Dust Noir here with this. Wait, what's gonna poke here? How much damage we have? Oh, yo, come on, Tokus. Rip up. Oh, we get a burn. Come on, Tokus. Give me that crit and take out this Dust Noir. Give me the crit and take out the Dust Noir. This is basically for the win right here. This is for the win. Get it, Togi. You got the scope ones for a reason. Oh, no. No. And we don't even get a crit on the Malwak. Oh, my lord. Rockside's gonna tee off on us. We don't get a crit on the Malwak. Take that out, please. Mm. Yo, this close. This close to clutching this battle up. Uh, from here, I do not know what to go for. I wish we had Mach Punch rocking on this thing. That could be really good. But yeah, that's pretty much GG, right? That is pretty much GG's. That is pretty much GG's. Let's see how this one plays. Rockside's gonna come out here. Shadow Sneak. Okay, so Shadow Sneak's fine here. We can eat that up. And Rockside, are you gonna be able to take out both my Pokemon? Focus might be a weakness. Oh, we both eat. Togekiss flinches. Togekiss flinched. So it comes down to a 1v1 now. Togekiss flinched. I was going to say, dude, if Togekiss didn't flinch there, I should, probably shouldn't have went into the floor. But, oh, wait, we survived. But then my life orb. Oh, no! <laughs> I forgot about my life orb. Comes down to a 1v1, dude. Dude, we should have been at high health here. Malwak at least should have been down. Yeah, Malwak should have been down, and uh, Dust Noir should have been gone, too, and our Infernape should have been at half health. That's whack, dude. I was banking on that crit from the Tokus, but that goes to show that sometimes you don't get it. Okay, it goes to this final Pokemon. It's going to be Machamp. It's tough news. If we can get off a shot, we can take that thing out in one shot. It's Air Slash. I think we can. I'm going to go for the Air Slash. Let's see what this dude does. What's he going to go for here? Dynamic Punch. Can we eat it? Probably not. We do. But it's going to confuse us, isn't it? Please, please. Land us. Land us, Togi. Land it, Togi. Take it out. Get a crit. Gotta love this game, right? Gotta love this game. Let's go for another Air Slash. Bullet Punch. It had Bullet Punch all along. So what, what was that for? What was that for? Was that just to rub it in my face? GG's. GG's. <laughs> Good game, yo. What a first battle. What a first battle. Battle number one was solid. Even though we lost, it was solid. I feel like we lost the RNG. Not gonna lie, because we did get flinched at the end by that Togekiss. And our uh, Togekiss did get uh, confused and hit itself with confused. So back to back turns for my Togekiss did not do us well. And I feel like we, we, we had a high chance of winning that one. And I think we should have won that one. We waited out our trick room really, really well. We played the back end really well. I just, I just think RNG did us dirty in the end there, but Hey, great battle all around. Love to get our video started with some good battles, but let's hop into our second one right here. Going up against this guy named Zay. Hopefully he's rocking with a cool team. We're looking to grab ourselves our first win. And yo, he is rocking a dope team. Mighty Anna, Mantine, Vileplume, Scizor. Manetric and Relicanth. I just feel like this is an easy sweep for me. I'm not even gonna lie. I feel like this is a P Porygon Z sweep. With Crobat, we'll bring Infernape in the back end. And then last but not least, we could rock out with Garchomp. Garchomp or Rotom. I mean, Manetric does learn Lightning Rod, so I am gonna go Garchomp here. Do dig it. Plus he has Vileplume. So let's lock this one in and lock it down. And oh, I didn't even check the rules that he picked. I didn't even check the rules that he picked. Hopefully he picked four. Let's see what he does here. Yes, Steve Irwin. Oh, that's a hilarious name. It's not that funny, but like, it's a cool name. Because, you know, Steve Irwin died in the Stingrays. That's the piece, Steve. What a guy. What a guy. He goes with four Pokemon. Okay, so I didn't even check the rules in this first out. Fine. So from here, I, I just think it's GG's. We're Choice Scarfed. I'm going to go right into you. And do we even need speed? I feel like we do. So let's set this up. Let's set up the Tailwind. And I feel like we can just kind of just roll out here with the Tri Attacks. Do you use a Thunderbolt? Hey, you're chilling my Crobat. Wow. He gets crit. I think that was taking me out regardless. Nice turn by him. I'll give it to him all day. We do need speed. I'm going to bring out my Infernape for the fake out. Porygon Z is fast in the man team, which is really, really good. This should be able to just uh, take him out. Right now. Yeah, like I said, yo, Porygon Z is a menace. And, yo, he's got some good names. Steve Irwin and Usain Joel. Gotta love it. Now this guy sets up a Tailwind. Okay. Now we get a chance to fake out and take out a Pokemon. I'm not really worried about... Who do I fake out here? Who do I fake out here? He has the man team, which can do some work onto my... Uh, Onto my Inferno. So I might fake that out. But it really depends who he brings out here. Because he does have speed control with the Tailwind. Porygon Z, if I could just get off shots with him, he could just start slapping up on Pokemon left and right. He's going to bring out Scissor. And I feel like Scissor's like kind of scared here. So I'm going to fake out the Manatee. And I think I might double down into the Manatee. I might double down into this Manatee. 
I don't want him taking me out with the Mantine and then just sitting there with the scissor just teeing off because scissor and the trick room is pretty solid. We're not sure. Scissor and the tailwind is pretty really solid. Really, really solid. Especially when I don't have a setup. But if I can just pose to start with this Infernape, we could be chilling here. Infernape's going to fake out right here. And that's a big damage. That's a big old damage. More importantly, we're going to get the flinch. And what's he going to go for with the scissor? What's he going for with the skizzy? Just for an X scissor. And the PZ. PZ eats up all day. That's lovely. And try to actually fly out here. Hey, yo, Manti. Get on out my game, dude. I'm telling you. Oh, what? He did die? Okay, but we get the freeze. <laughs> that actually works a little better for us. Now we can kind of just like double down into you if we want to. Actually, I'm going to take out you. I'm just going to drop a flare blitz. I don't really see his scissor taking out my Inferno. Look at Mantine frozen in space, y'all. We'll take the RNG. Our RNG, we, we took a hit on our RNG battle number one, and it's coming back in our favorite battle number two. <laughs> wow, dude, I really thought Porygon's even just going to dump on that. Did not do it. Now we got a frozen mid-air Mantine just sitting there like this. Trying to flap its wings. <laughs> it's just sitting there trying to flap its wings. That's great. That's great. Skull. Oh, he has Skull. But Infernape eats. He loves it. He loves it. He has Skull. Oh, and he has things rocking Okaberry, which we still might be able to KO here. Through the Okaberry? I sure hope so. Yes, sir. Get it out of my face. Get it out. That's GG's. That's GG's. Wow, dude. This thing rocks Skull. Skulls melt the freeze, which is amazing. Which is amazing. Our recoil damage is going to take us out, but more importantly, Porygon Z is going to take out the Mantine and it's going to turn it into a 2v1 situation. Unless he has a double hitting move. Who do, who do we think he has in the back end? Who do we think he has in the back end? Because PZ's playing no games today. <laughs> PZ's playing no games. We're going to bring out one of the best physical attackers in the game. Garchomp right here. Let's lock him in. Bring him out here for the final match or the final little Pokemon. Let's see who he's rocking out with. Who's his final mon? Ugly, his name is. Oh, and that thing's ugly. <laughs> that thing's real ugly. We have Tri-Attack, which we're going to have to go into because we're Choice Scarf. And we're going to have to go into an EQ here. Actually, I could protect and just see how uh, PZ is going to do here. I can go into EQ whenever I want. I can go into EQ whenever I want. And I don't really want to take out my PZ, you know? He's going to go for Yawn and we block him. What a good block for us. We'd love to see it. Let's see how much damage he's tried. Like, dude, I'm telling you, we're going to see this a lot of damage. Like, look at that. Now that's definitely genius. And, oh my god, yo, the Tri-Attack RNG on our side all day. On our side all day. That's going to be GG's. He's probably just going to cancel the battle. And his Tailwind's gone. So now I can just go into Tri-Attack. And I can rock out with a lovely little EQ here as well. So, yo, ugly, get on out my face. That's GG. Can battle is canceled. And we're sitting one on one for today's video. Time to grab ourselves another winning record for BDSP Double Battles. Let's lock in our Inferno team and see what our opponent is rocking out here for battle number three. But yo, that battle number two went pretty solid for us. Went pretty solid for us. We just had our PZ kind of roll out there and got some work done. But we're going up against a really cool team right here. He has the Latias alongside with the uh, the Swampert, the Kangaskhan. And then he has the, what is that thing called? The Bomba Snow. And then Blaze Cannon Token. So Inferno is probably going to have to be a must lead in case he leads Kangaskhan. We can fake him out and go from there. I kind of like to get our Tailwind rolling. But at the same time, it's tough because... If we go in the Crobat, that Latias can just tap us. A Psychic, right? Yeah, Crobat doesn't do too well to Psychic. So I don't even think we're going to bring that. Or I could bring it in the back end. I could taunt, but no. We, it's, it's just not a good point. It's not a good point. Okay. PC's going to have to come in here. And then last but not least, we could roll out with uh, Rotom or Garchomp. Garchomp seems a lot better in a lot of these situations. I really do like that. I really do like the Garchomp. But he has the bomb, so... But we do have a Yachi Berry, so let's lock it in. Let's lock it down. Let's look to grab ourselves a winning record for today's video. But yeah, I really want to lead my uh my Crobat. But if Latias comes out here, yeah, Latias does come out here. I was gonna say, if Latias comes out here, he can just outspeed and pretty much just dump on me. Okay, then we're gonna go Infernape alongside with Tokus, and then from here, I could honestly just fake out. What do I do here? I'm just gonna fake out the Latias here and see if we'll fake out my Infernape. I should go for Gleam. I'm with this all day. Because Psyche can dump out all my Inferno too. So we'll fake out, get some clap damage here. And what's Kangi's kind of going to do? Kangi's kind of going to go for fake out over on Tokyo. So fake out neutral turn. Wow, dude, that damage. That's some big boy damage. Latias flinches, and we'll go for. 
good you turn out and see how much damage we can do here. Or I can just take out the kings. I am just going to follow me here. I'm going to follow me and take out the Kangaskhan. I'm with it all day. And I think he sets up a uh, Tailwind with Latias, but we're hoping he goes for a Psychic to try to take out my opponent. That's what we're hoping. That is what we're hoping here. He goes for a Psychic, yeah. Okay, that's cool. So kids can soak a shot, and then Close Combat can come through here and take it. Okay, so this thing's dead. Let's roll out. Let's roll out. Let's see who he's going to use next. Let's see who he's going to bring. Our defense is dropped. I want to try to U-turn out here. That could be a huge U-turn pivot turn. So we can get a fake out. The back end. So I would really like that. And it could do some big damage on Latias. As it is super effective. And we have that life orb. Okay. Whew. Whew. Who's going into Swampert's going to come out here. And Swampert's kind of scary here. I think he's rocking Surf. We know he's rocking EQ. I'm still going to go for the U-turn. I got to go for this bomb. He doesn't have Tailwind up. Right now, Infernape still outspeed, so maybe he goes for another Psychic. That's what we're hoping for. Follow me, Pokes. Come here. Support Togekiss all day long here. Go for Psychic. Tailwind. Ouch. Ouch, 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 ouch. Infernape still outspeeds. That's beautiful. Infernape outspeeds. I love you, Infernape. That's some good old damage. That's some good old damage. I'm kind of hoping he goes for a Q here. Because Togekiss can dodge it, and then we can swap into... What do we swap in here? Top, maybe? Yeah, I think we have to save her PZ. I think we have to save her lovely PZ. I'm going to get rid of that Latias. Latias has got to go. Now he has Tailwind set up. Dragon move is definitely scary. There goes the EQ. Okay. I'm with it. I'm with it all day. So, from here, I do think like a Dragon Pulse is probably coming out here. So, I could just protect you. Or I could go into a follow me. But I think protecting going into the Cleave is going to play. Hopefully, hopefully that thing... Uh, or hopefully Tokus maybe can outspeed Swapper. But I don't think it can in the tail. Infernape did, but Infernape super super. Let's see what he goes for here. Ice Beam. Wow. The toad. Did he read my Protect? Did he read my Protect? I do have the Yashi Barrier features. Rock and Ice Beam. He must have read my Protect. What a play by him. Robert's gonna Ice Beam. Okay. He doesn't know we're rocking the, uh, the berries. We bring out Infernape now. And we're gonna fake out onto Latias. I think that's the play. The right should just be able to take it out with that much health left. And then trigger our Yashi Barrier. And get off a big old dragon claw, man. Turn sounds good. The turn sounds lovely. Unless he's protecting Latias. But he does. It's so cool. Fake out comes out here. Take him out. Yes, sir. Get on out my face. So the huge threat is gone. Latias is out of the building. That's huge for us. And we already KO'd Kangaskhan. So I knew fake out and you turn out was just a huge play to have that in the back end. So dragon call comes out here. We're probably going to see an ice beam, right? We're, we're going to see a water move. EQ. Do we EQ? That's a great play. That's a great play by him. It's a great play by him. I'll give it to him all day. I was really hoping the ice team was going to EQ, great play by him. Takes out my Infernape. And I'm cool with that. Because now we have PZ here. And we can just start rolling out here. It brings out Obamas. Tailwind done. Please show me Tailwind's done. If not, I have to protect my child. If not, I have to protect my lovely little child. No one coming out here. And I'll do a 2v2 situation. We have to protect. He has one more turn left in that. And we're just going to uh, go into this try attack here. Right into Obama Snow. Right into the uh, lovely snowman tree. What is this thing? Yeah, snowman tree with grant. I don't know what it is. <laughs> it's an ab it's an abominable snowman. Ice Beam's flying here. He's going to read that protect. That's a great read there. I think he, I think he made a hard read here. Obama Snow's going to go for Blizzard. We block. PZ should be able to eat this up. And now PZ can eat this up. We're sitting so well here. Yes. Go ahead, PZ. Do, do your thing. Do your big old damage. PZ, you're the best. PZ doing some big old damage. Buffets are going to fly out here. And Speed's going to come back into our favor. Speed is back in our favor. What's our play here? What is our play? Play is definitely a Dragon Claw here. This is going to be kind of close. We need PZ to actually take this thing out. We need PZ to actually take out the Swampert here. Let's see how this one plays. Let me close. I'm just going to protect. That's fine. I was going to drop an EQ, but I can't take out my PZ. I need PZ to do damage here. I need PZ to do damage here. See, this guy has to be dropping EQ, right? Can we take out? Can PZ take out here? PZ, take him out. Do your thing. Do your thing. PZ. 
PZ. I told you guys, this thing is a menace. Does so much damage with that choice. That choice specs, man. Beautiful. Beautiful. This battle comes down to the wire. What a battle. What a battle. That's going to be GG's. We're going to go 2 and 1. I was going to say 3 0, but we lost our first battle. We're going to go 2 and 1 for today's video. Awesome, awesome, awesome. What a battle. What a battle here. Garchomp's going to Dragon Claw. Hey, yo. Promise though, get on out my game. There it is. GG's winning record yet again. Video speed up. The choice specs Porygon Z and Life Orb in turn 18 checks out with a winning record. That's how it's done. Let's get it, ladies and gentlemen. I absolutely love this team. Like I told you guys in the beginning, Porygon Z is just such a big threat. Like, you guys seen plenty of damage from that thing. Just one tap of Pokemon left and right. And Infernape was very, very clutch with the flinches, with the fake outs, and doing big damage with either fake out or close combat. But guys, that is going to be for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread some positive every day, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.